If you install custom car audio or other electronics into a vehicle, odds are you have to deal with this dreaded nightmare right here, wire loom. We use wire loom in order to protect wires that are within the engine compartment or otherwise exposed outside of the vehicle to the elements. So if you're installing audio, alarms, lights, backup cameras, anything like that, it's really a must use consumable item. Now wire loom looks harmless enough, but if you have to run wires through this all day, it's really, really time consuming and it's actually pretty rough on your hands to constantly be jamming your fingers through these. But my friends, luckily there's a much better way. Let's see how we can run wire through wire loom at warp speed. Hey guys, welcome to Car Audio Fabrication. My name is Mark and here on this channel I like to do car audio tutorials and build log videos and I also like to do tool recommendations for you guys. If you're new here and you want to make sure that you're notified when I upload future videos, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So my recommendation this week guys are these. These are wire loom tools. So after doing some digging I was able to find these and I've been able to find them individually sold before but I actually found a set that goes for pretty cheap. I'll drop a link for you guys down in the video description. So I've got a couple of different sample wire bundles here along with the wire loom itself I've got two different sizes to show you as you can see I've got my set of five here and I'm gonna show you guys just how quick this is Let's say that we're adding this new single wire bundle to this completely empty loom We take one of these right and you can see right now it's closed if we rotate this there's an opening So what we need to do is we'll take our wires and we'll feed them through and we're just gonna spin that around so that it's now closed. So you can see the wire is now completely contained within this device. Next, we'll take the loom and we're just gonna push it over this edge like so. Now I found you get it kind of started and you'll wanna hold right here at the end. You wanna kind of hold the loom with the wiring and watch how easy this is. Like so. I've zoomed out a little bit again just so we can have a better overall look. Add it in, spin our thing around. Add it in, we'll hold on to it with our finger, and like so, we have a wire loomed wire. Now let's try something different. Let's say that we already have this loom, it's already installed into the vehicle, it already has wiring in it. Can we add a new wiring bundle to this just as easily? So we're just gonna load it up like so. We'll get it started here, and I'll pinch the two together just like before. And I'm gonna kind of use my hand because this is actually quite a bit of wire for this small loom. Just use my hand to push it through here. And there we go. Now we have two wire bundles within our loom. So obviously the purpose of having the different size ones is for different size loom. This is the biggest loom that I actually have on hand right now, but I do know that they actually do make quite huge loom for this big guy right here. You can just get an idea for which of the tools you wanna to use by just doing a little test fit like so. Let's say that we wanna put this four wire bundle in. We'll just add her in here. Check this out. All loomed up, ready to go. Now probably one of the most common applications that we're gonna see in custom car audio is the fact that when you're installing a power wire for an amplifier to a battery, or let's say you're adding a ground within the engine compartment for the big three, something like that, you're of course gonna to wanna to protect your wire with wire loom. So let's test this out with even some big wire. So we will put her through, we will push the loom on, we will pinch it in place, and if we just run along, there we have it. You absolutely cannot do it any faster than that. So what are my final thoughts on these? These are one of those tools that are just really handy to have on hand. No pun intended. I mean, honestly, the speed at which you can zip wires into wire loom with these things is pretty insane. Now these can also be used with the fabric loom that is often used in computer networking. I bought these and I feel like they're a really good addition to the arsenal. If you guys wanna check out where I got them, you can check out the link down in the video description. I really enjoy making these tool and material recommendation videos for you guys. So if you wanna check out one of the previous ones I did on a cool little device that you can use to actually quickly disconnect speakers, you can check that out here on screen. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be updated when I upload future videos, once again, I would love to have you as a subscriber. A special thanks goes out to John, Brian, Ali, Steven, Jerry, EJ, Emmanuel, Truman, James, and Colin, and the rest of the Patreon support team. A big thanks to those guys for helping crowdfund and support the making of these videos. Thank you for watching.